Hey there, I'm Michael. I'm Jen. And together, we are wildly graceful. Um, we are in our, what has become our RV setup room, really, uh, spare bedroom in our house. And today we're talking to you about what we're doing for mattress toppers on the bunk beds. Stay tuned. Welcome back, Jen. He likes to talk a lot. It's my turn. So we were we were researching um, mattress toppers for the kids' beds after we got the topper for our bed, and they're super expensive, and all of them would need trimming down at one point. Even some of the RV brand ones were just too wide or too long. Um, so we did some homework, and I found this at Walmart. It's the Dream Serenity three inch gel mattress foam topper. It was seventy nine dollars at Walmart. It's 52 inches wide, actually 52 and a half inches wide because I just measured it, and 73 inches long. The bunk beds are 28 wide by 72 long. So when I found this, I did the math and figured out this would be the least amount of wasted material for our dollar. Um, so we bought this and we can see we're cutting it in half. And what I did to cut it in half was I just measured it, made lines all the way down to find the center mark. We marked a whole center line. We did buy a utility knife and an X-Acto knife to cut it with, but actually the scissors work really, really great. Actually super fast and much easier. So we're going to show you how we're cutting it real quick. I'm so amused by the utility knife, obviously. Yeah, you're amused by small things. Oh, family ship. Um, so Michael pulls tension on it and squishes it as thin as possible and I just cut along the reference line and it's made it super easy so far. Yes, I am still in scrubs. No, I am not dirty. It cuts super easy. And it's funny to me, those of us that are old um, remember upholstery shops and upholstery shops used to have big giant pieces of foam in them and uh, it really looks just like this now this is supposedly gel infused and you know they put some cool marbling on it um, and how much of that is actually um, you know uh, really valuable versus <laughs> how much of that is just a great way to charge uh, 70 bucks or 80 bucks for a piece of foam um, but either way we felt sympathetic to the kids felt like if we're going to have a mattress topper uh, they should have one too um, i can tell you that um, this looks really durable and uh, you know i it's pretty comparable to the one that we got at target in our other video which was the casa luna series um, i will tell you that that one was a lot more expensive it came with a with a cover. Uh, this does not come with a cover, uh, but for a kid's bunk bed, um, this will save you the you know oh I hate my bed this is terrible. This will save you all of that to make sure the kids have a comfortable spot to sleep in. And then we're just going to take this out, throw it under the sheets, and we'll be ready to roll in uh, three days when we head back out again. So there you have it. Easy breezy. Ten. I did buy a second, um, what do you call that thing? Fitted sheet. I did buy a second fitted sheet to hold this onto the other mattress and then I'll put their bed fitted sheet over that since this did not come with a mattress cover and it wouldn't have worked anyways because I'm cutting it in half. But it came out nice. I mean, a little bumpy, but kids don't, you just don't show them they won't know. All right. right. That's it. Thank you. I just wanted to show you how we finished up the mattress topper for the two bunk beds. So this is the bottom bunk and you can see the mattress topper fits really well. I did have to trim off about two inches from the bottom. It's so easy to cut so no big deal. I did buy an inexpensive cot sheet um, recommended by a fellow 17B camper just to add as a mattress cover for the sake of holding the um, foam to the mattress. These um, cot sheets fit really, really well. Um, so shout out 
to Jennifer from the 17B Facebook group for recommending these. They are fantastic. And um, they're on Amazon. I want to say this set of sheets is about $25 and it comes in every color you can imagine. And then I'm going to cover the kids' mattress again with their fitted sheet, which doesn't fit great, but I'll show you how I secure it tightly with the suspenders. Because the mattresses are so hard to fit in this spot and get the beds made, I like to secure the comforter to um, the suspenders so that the kids don't make a total disaster of their beds. I like to keep it just about the same length as the mattress. Plenty of room in here to do all this. The suspenders are super easy. They're adjustable at every point. Maybe they're easy. There we go. Just pinch a piece of the comforter. Attach it, grab the sheets, One mattress ready to go. Well, you know how the kids like them. Thanks.